everyone, it's Paul here from Ross and Healthy, hoping to have a really great day, guys. Now, today's video is all about the blood type diet. Should we be eating certain foods corresponding to our particular blood type, or can we eat all the fruit and veg that we want? This is what today's video is all about. A book was uh, published called Eat Right for Your Blood Type. And very simply, the theory behind this was, or is, that you should be eating only certain foods for your particular blood type. Now, since then, the book has sold sev over 7 million copies, has been translated into 52 languages, and has been on the New York Times bestseller list. So, it's been a very popular book, very popular diet, but is it right? Is it correct? Has it any basis at all in, in, in science, in reality? So, the theory goes your ancestors will have eaten certain foods. <clears throat> so, depending on your blood type, you will process certain foods differently and, and other foods better than other foods as it were. And in doing so, you will not only improve your health, but you'll help you lower the risk of developing diseases. Now, let's look at the blood types first off and to see what blood types humans actually have. Okay, so there's four blood types. First, there's the blood type O. Now, in the book, the uh, author says that you should be eating a high protein diet if you're a type O, apparently. Uh, type A, if you're a type A blood type, then you should be meat free and based on fruits and vegetables, legumes and whole grains. If you're a type B, then you've got green veg, uh, apparently you've got eggs you can eat, uh, certain meats and low fat dairy. And if you're a type AB, then you're somewhere in between the two. And you can include things like seafood, uh, dairy and green veg. So could this be true? Is there such a thing as a blood type diet? Do animals in nature have a blood type diet? Uh, no, they don't. Uh, what about humans though? Perhaps we're different, perhaps we're special, perhaps we should have or we do have a blood type diet. Well, let's look into this further. Back in the year 2001, in the Journal of the Norwegian Medical Association, it was reported that after a days long seminar, it was found that the diet was completely unsupported by any scientific evidence. Fast forward to 2013, and a comprehensive review published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found no evidence to support the diet. And most recently, a study was published in the year 2014 by researchers from the University of Toronto, Canada, and they found that the theory behind the diet is not valid and added that the blood type hypothesis is false. Also worthy of note is that the author, back in the original book, Eat Right for Your Blood Type, said that he was going to conduct a cancer study with regards to the diet but some 16 years later, we are still waiting for those study findings to be published. In his follow-up book as well, the author stated that he is also going to do a 12-week randomized, double-blind controlled trial with regards to this diet and people's outcomes from having rheumatoid arthritis. Some 10 years later, we have still heard nothing from this trial. So I think it's very safe to say that there's nothing at all in the blood type diet. It's, it's complete baloney. And I know for sure that I'll be eating sweet. So what are your thoughts on the blood type diet? I'd love to hear from you. As always, leave your comments below. Eat sweet, be fit, and I'll catch you all again very soon. Have a great day. Ciao for now.